And as you know, you know, why should, here you had this kid who was 19, he was a nutcase, shouldn't have had a gun in the first place, yet he bought it legally. So maybe we should ban all people his age or under 21 from buying guns, to which you say? I say I'm really sick of liberals. I mean like really sick, like getting physically ill listening to them because they can't be consistent on an argument. You know what's fascinating about your prior guest? I've argued with liberals about so-called gun control, which you accurately called people control, you're right, uh, for days now. And they'll make opposing arguments. Just a few days ago, a guy said to me, well, you know, you have to be 21 to buy alcohol. I said, you're talking about a, the purchase of a mind-altering substance, not the operation of a firearm. Yet this guy comes around and talking about voting, he makes the exact opposite argument. Well, they're apples and oranges. So is booze and guns. But it doesn't matter to liberals because they'll tell you the same thing, Tucker, about immigration laws and abortion laws. They'll be like, you know what? Those laws don't matter. Immigration, we don't really have to follow those laws. Matter of fact, people don't, and we should give them government. Folks, they'll all be ignored. But gun laws, those will really work. Those will definitely stop homicidal maniacs from getting guns and preying on the rest of us while we're all unarmed. This is so beyond stupid that we're all losing IQ points by debating with these people. Well, I think that's right. I mean, abortion, which is not mentioned in the Constitution, is the beating heart of our constitutional rights, whereas guns, which are in the Second Amendment and the Bill of Rights, oh, that's not even there. Um, so I guess I appreciate people who are sincerely trying to solve this problem because all of us recognize sure. how horrible it is. But are you starting to suspect that a lot of these so-called solutions are not really about making the public safer, but about something else? Tucker, 15 years in law enforcement and five years studying the issue and doing commentary on it. This is what people have to understand. Get this through your heads and don't ever forget it. There are two parallel tracks for gun owners, okay? For liberals, let's do this slow. Here's one, here's two, okay? On the first track, you have legal gun owners. You have to go through a background check, fill out a 4473. You can't be a prohibited possessor, okay? That's how good people, non-criminals, get guns. Then you have track number two, people who steal them and buy them on the black market. Right. They don't care about track number one, Tucker, at all. So you have a law, by the way, which only impacts good law-abiding people and does nothing for criminals. Let me ask you this, Tucker. What other law works like that? Do burglary laws affect you? Have, has Tucker Carlson ever thought about burglarizing a house and be like, darn, they, they don't affect it. The burglary laws you don't care about at all. You're like, good, let's have maximum penalties for burglary laws. Gun laws are the only laws that affect the law abiding and don't affect criminals <laughs> one bit. They have a thriving black market for guns. I mean, well, it's, it's absurd. Our immigration laws keep out millions of potential software engineers, but are ignored by 11 million people from the third world who are living here because they didn't care. Right. No, it's a perfect, it's a perfect example. Dan, thank you for that. I appreciate it. Yes, sir. You got it. California, the Golden State, biggest state, once the best state, now looks nothing like it did. It's falling apart. Lawmakers encourage defiance of the nation's laws. The state is the least livable in America. What went wrong? So very wrong. We'll tell you next.